What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Farm Simulator 2019, baby. Woo! Haha, <laughs> we're hanging out here. We are here in Ferrisburn, yeah. <laughs> we are hanging out here in Ferrisburn and uh, we've been having some bad luck with dairy and, and moo cows. Every single map that we try to do something on, it either crashes, breaks, or something glitches out with it and it's not, uh, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Uh, so I decided we're going to have a Felsbrun series, but we're going to have a dairy farm. Oh yeah, just straight dairy, baby. Got eggs, we got milk, and that is going to be our cash crop. Just like we have our, uh, our custom cotton farm, and so uh, that custom cotton farm has inspired me, the Inspirado, to make a custom dairy farm. So here we go, we're going to do a little time lapse for y'all. Enjoy. Thank you. 
All right, well, let's check it out now, baby. It's not done yet, okay? Um, I downloaded a wall texture, a wall uh, pack, and the wall pack doesn't have textures to it. So it looks like ours. Oh, 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 watch out there, Tiger, watch out. Driving around here. So we have our entranceway here, right through, right through. Now, this is going to take, uh, it's basically while things are going to be uh, messing around, while we're harvesting things for our moo cows, I will be constantly toying with this, trying to smooth it out and make it as, as nice and as perfect as I can possibly make it. There are some spots that I missed. I wanted to pull, uh, put a nice little walkway, a uh, nice little entryway up until, whoop, 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 whoop. Nice entryway, tree entryway, right up to the beginning here, and then you're met by crows. And then we're gonna have a little silage area over here. Got a little area for uh, big equipment, bigger equipment. We also have our silo. And then we also have our little shanty for uh, a couple, you know, a couple vehicles. No big deal, no big, no big stuff, no big whoop. We have a big yard and we have a small yard and then we have a large chicken coop. That's baller, baby. So we gotta get ourselves some animals, but to today's episode, we're just talking about the farm. Diesel designs down on the farm. So, where there's a lot of steep hills, I wanted to have a big dairy farm on top of the hill. Like a house on haunted hill, only it's not as terrifying. Uh, well, it might, be, it might be terrifying here. Hold on. What was that angle? What are we looking at there? All right, we'll have to fix that. So yeah, we wanted to put nice walls, uh, nice like tree walls that are going around so that we can have ourselves a little bit of privacy, just breaks it off a little bit. And then we can go around to our moo cow farms, has a, plenty of space, but also it has a little bit of drop off. We'll spend a little time, I want to put a wall around this area, but the wall textures are trash and I'll show you here in a second. So we have a nice area, we'll have plenty of room to roam. And then right here, I want to have another entranceway, but I want to have a gate or a fence or a wall placement there so it actually looks decorative. But I couldn't find any decorative wall pieces. Let me know in the comment section down below or hop into the Discord and go to the FS19 mod section and post your little wall, your, your, your wall mods. Why aren't you making more? We need more walls. We need more buildings. We need more things. Then we have our workstation. Now this is a mod as well. It's just a little bit different. Can we just turn this off? I think we're just, I think we're fine. So it's a regular workshop in in Gerosh. Crown. This thing needs work. It's unusable. Our little garage area for fix em ups. Got our fuel tank right here. And I've also forgot that we need to get ourselves some silos. So we'll go ahead and we'll snag those up as well. Some seeds and some fertilizer. And uh, we'll create a little area for that. But yeah, man. So our dairy farm is kicking, baby. But with, like I said, not done. We're going to need some seed silos. We're going to need some fertilizer silos. I'm going to have to even this out. And then I'm also going to have to put some walls around this area. I've been having a, a, a little, got all kinds of weird textures here. Got all kinds of weird angles and cuts out of nowhere, man. And you don't realize it, you don't recognize it until you're right on top of the stuff. You're like, ooh. <laughs> very nifty, very cool. So, uh, silos, and then we have the dump them out right here. So, then that way we can just pour everything out. And I have a feeling that we're going to have some silos that go around this area here for our grain and for our fertilizer. And I'll just extend this a little bit out. And then we'll just get rid of these two trees here. So that way we have a little loading area and unloading area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe it'll even curl. I don't know if it'll curl. I don't know. I don't think we want to do that. But I think this will work out, man. I think this will work out just fine. Now we want to do a little bit of a break off here. Mostly we did uh, some spruce trees. I wanted to do spruce trees and pine trees. But I also wanted to make a little bit of a, a blend for our house. Because this way we are you're greeted with some nice happy trees. Some happy trees, some some weeping willow type type thing. It's not it's birch. We made a little custom fence that goes around here. This fence mod is fantastic, but uh, I think it's only one texture. It's all we got. It's all we got. I wanted to make the ground here uh, some sort of pavement that goes all the way down. I didn't. I wanted to be uh, 
I wanted it to be fancy. Now we're gonna break this up here too when it comes to some of the landscape, but it's one of those things where you just gotta play around with it. So take this down, let's go ahead and we'll move this. You can throw in little dirt pieces, little dirt blotches. This is the small this is the smallest I can get. Smallest I can get. Smallest I can it's the smallest you can get. I'm just gonna kinda toy with it. Hmm. So even that's not too bad. Got a little rock section. I think that looks nice. I'll tell you what, that looks real nice. It'll break up the monotony. That'll look real pretty. I think we I think we messed around. I don't think I want to make this a whole thing. And then we'll move it out here a little bit. We'll give it a little bit of angle. So it looks like it's been moved around a smidge, a bit, a hint, a tad. Very cool. So I wanted to have it a little bit more of a fan. I didn't want to have it full blown, like go full blown, Charlie, with having a like full blown asphalt there. We'll cover that up. But then what we also have is these panels, these these slabs if you will I think that would have been a little too much so I decided not to that's my choice let me know in the comment section down below what you think because we are for the most part done so when it comes to this we just need to hang up some trees some silos we've got to maneuver some things around here and now that I'm realizing we need some seeds now the farms that we have here uh, we own farm 6, 7, and 10, and we also own 17 because I was getting uh, you do not own this land when I'm trying to build, and I don't want to like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to deal with that. So we have 17, but I don't think we're going to use this. But we can expand all over this jam, and I think we will. I think that we will. But folks, that is going to be our episode for today. The terrain tool and the uh, 1.2 update is out right now for PC and Mac. Sorry, consoles, that it will be out uh, some point this week. But I don't have a date. Now they're just giant. So, uh, when it gets updated, it'll get updated for you console players. And hopefully you can have yourself a good old time making your own custom farms just like I have right here. And like I said, we're not done. So we'll have multiple episodes of our dairy farm. And we're going to load up a bunch of cows, a bunch of moo cows. I got to get I gotta get some farms. This is floating in air. This is floating in air. You got you to gotta scope around. You got to find things that you didn't realize are problems. This is a, this is a problem, Brian. It's a problem. X, yep, X, C. Let's get some leveling going on here, guys. Just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. And then we'll just dip it down and smooth it out. Let's change the brush size. There we go. There we go. The brush type, that is. I just gotta even this whole shebang bang out. If it's got a hill, it's fine. It's all natural. It's all natural. Nice. So, we're going to have a lot of moo cows. We're going to have a lot of milk. This man needs some milk. And some eggs. And I can't wait to see how much we'll make from our little adventure here. And I have a feeling that we're going to continue to add more and more. Just in case. We've got plenty of fields to do it. We'll have to expand that way. We'll have to expand over that way. Oh, up over yonder. But once we get some wall textures in there, we'll start putting in some walls, and then we'll have a nice little tool. We'll have a nice little section that everyone will be happy with. I have a feeling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Again. All day with this. All day. <laughs> Let's just even you out. Make you all nice and pretty. But folks, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, definitely need some walls. I'm aware that it's not finished, but I think we're on the right track. I think we're on the right track. We'll get some some harvesting going. We'll get some. Uh, we got ourselves some uh, equipment. I have no equipment. Uh, but I, get, I basically what I did is I gave myself ten million dollars because I didn't know how much this was going to cost. So now we're going to buy a bunch of equipment. We're going to buy a bunch of moo cows. We're going to get get going on one of the most efficient efficient cow farms in the history of cow farms, man. 
You do not believe? How dare you not believe? You must believe in the diesel. Believe. Put that on a t-shirt. Believe in the diesel. You can believe in me. I will believe you in you. Alright, let's even you out. It feels, sounds like a Nickelback song. Uh, which is not, a, not the worst thing. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. I'll be doing this for a couple hours, just kind of going over <laughs> everything. Like, hmm, what do I do? Hmm, hmm. But folks, that's going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below how hyped you are for a little bit of dairy farming, custom farming. And if you can uh, link me some nice molds that you enjoy for walls and, and placeables. If you're a mod creator yourself, why don't you hop on into the Discord? Let us know in the FS19 mod section. I would love to hear from you. So, everyone, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shout out, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Farm Simulator 2019, baby. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Next time. What happened to my trees here? I, I planted little tiny trees. I planted little tiny happy trees. They removed them when I was probably editing. Jeez. Jeez Louise, I want to have decorative, decorative trees. Because it's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Mama's picking turkey and collard greens.